Hey YouTube, what's going on? My name is Professor, and before I start off this M82A3 commentary, I just want to post up a few clips I got of long range sniping on Omen. And the reason I'm doing this is to compensate for the uh, not so great gameplay I got for this commentary, and the reason I say that is because I'm using the heli for the first minute of the gameplay, and I found that to be not really respecting the rules of a weapon review. So, before I start this commentary, just gonna let you guys enjoy this, these few clips I got, and uh, as well I do snipe a heli pilot, which is actually one of my friends, Hemoptysis, a good friend of mine. He tried to kill me, but I got him. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys right after I finish these clips. Hope your eyes are enjoying this right now because this is full screen gameplay. No watermark, no anything. It's back to normal, guys. I got the whole recording thing set and I am now recording everything in full screen. And I want to apologize once again for using the heli in, the, in the, the first two minutes of the gameplay. What I'm going to be doing is actually speeding it up so that we can skip right to the M82 sniper rifle. Particularity that I used this this gameplay that I recorded is because I didn't want to skip the first uh, minutes of the heli. I didn't want to skip it because um, well, record a whole new round because of the whole heli thing. And the reason I picked this gameplay out is because I demonstrate how to use this weapon and um, the actual playstyle you have to use. So what I'm doing is not actually using this weapon aggressively like I would normally do with a sniper rifle such as the L96, the M24 or the GOL, well the GOL because it has different characteristics that doesn't make this a very rushing and aggressive recon weapon. So first thing you want to know about this weapon is that it is not a bolt action sniper rifle. It is a semi-automatic and the reason it seems like a bolt action is because the rate of fire is so it's so low it's a very very slow um, rate of fire that it does seem like you're actually cocking the whole bullet or you know doing the whole process that you would do with the bolt action sniper rifle and when I die over here um, and I take my first shot I'm gonna be silent you can hear that the bullet the thing the gun clicks every time it's ready to be used And as you may have heard, that was a click signifying that my gun is ready to be used. Which is also pretty uh, good about this uh, weapon is that it is a mixture of both bolt action and semi-automatic. And reason I'm saying that is because in a semi-automatic sniper rifle, every time you take a shot while zoomed in, you don't zoom out. And with the bolt action, you do. But with the bolt action, you need you take time to cock out the bullet. So, th and, and uh, you know, cock it back in and do the whole process. So that's what makes this weapon a bit, um, I would say, in between, but even though it's in reality a, um, a semi-automatic sniper rifle. Now, another thing about this weapon is, you saw me a few instants ago, is actually take out a whole vehicle. This weapon is, in the description of this weapon, is to actually use this against vehicles. It's a tool that finally the recons can use against vehicles. Now the recon class is the less equipped for the, um, the um, well, attack versus the vehicles because it doesn't have any explosives other than grenades. And as soon as you throw out those first grenades on a tank, he's or he's gonna bail out, find you, or you're gonna run out of grenades to actually kill it. So this M82A3 doesn't perform damage on tanks, but if you um, if you shoot the APC's wheels, it does deal a pretty um, significant amount of damage, considering that this is a sniper rifle and not an RPG. And if you see the tank, uh, the APC kind of smoking, 
go for the shot because you might hit a nice clip blowing up that APC with your sniper rifle. Now the attachments I'm using on this weapon right now are the Desert Ballistic Scope, the Viper Mags, the Precision Barrel, and the Thunderbolt Stock. Right off the bat, I just want to mention that the Thunderbolt Stock is completely useless for this weapon, especially, well, not, not only the Thunderbolt Stock, but every single stock is useless for this weapon. And the reason I say this is because is because the what the um, Thunderbolt stock does is actually just reduce well um, the recoil every time you shoot. But it's this isn't a spammable weapon where you can just hold the fire the trigger and keep firing. So every time you take a shot, you have to wait till your bullet is ready to be used again. Your gun is ready to be used again. So by the time you can already adjust your your scope back to your enemies head or whoever you're shooting at or whatever you're shooting at so that's what makes the stocks useless now for moving on to the precision barrel the reason I'm using it is because it does increase the projectile velocity and that's something that um, makes your bullet travel faster to your enemy so if he is moving so if your um, enemy is moving and um, you're using the, the precision barrel you don't have to zoom in too in front of him and uh, so that you can land the shot on him and why I'm using Viper mags don't ask me the Viper mags are not the best choice to use for this weapon you're more preferred to use the casket mags because casket mags um, they give you more ammo and they give you a whole um, supplementary mag and why I'm saying this is because no matter if you're getting a body shot with casket mags or with viper mags it will always be a two shot kill so why have that small plus three damage when you can have plus six amul you know that gives you more casualties to kill and instead of inflicting a bit of more damage so that's just my small rant on why you should use casket mags instead of viper now something I like about this weapon is the actual sound it makes. It's very distinguished and unique. Pay attention to every time I take a shot you will hear it. I'll just take some time to make you listen. Well that's the sound I really really like about this weapon. It, it's very distinguished and it's it scares people. I don't know why but every time I take a shot it I get sh I get goosebumps. I shit you know it's 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 pretty awesome. So, oh my god, I just love the sound. Now, the preferred method to use this weapon is actually defensively, in my opinion, because you don't want to be rushing with this gun. It's not an aggressive recon weapon. You don't want to quick scope either because the time it takes to cock back the weapon is pretty, pretty slow. So, by the time you'll be dead, dead by then, unless the enemy's really bad. Now, over here, one thing with hitting pilots, I don't hit the pilot here, but. I do manage to hit the gunner and I was pretty shocked that I hit that but I was actually surprised and that's why I like this gameplay because I get things that were pretty unexpected. Now one more thing I want to mention and is that one of the most um, I wouldn't say one of the most important things is that this is the only sniper rifle that has bulletproof um, penetration, bulletproof glass penetration and I think it's the only weapon in the whole game. Now, um, what that means is that at any single range and speed of the vehicle and your actual bullet, it will penetrate the bulletproof glass. Now, and if you guys do not understand this, I'll put it in this way. When you're trying to uh, practice uh, sniping heli pilots and you're just, um, the pilot is just hovering above you trying to, and you're just trying to test the shots, it will never w work. And the reason being is that for bullet penetration of that bulletproof glass, you need a certain speed of the heli coming towards you and the speed of the bullet. And both of those combined, if it's greater than the actual speed it needs for to penetrate the glass, it will penetrate and possibly hit a hit marker. Or if you hit him in the head, it will be a one-shot headshot. That's why every time you see a, um, a sniper, uh, somebody sniping a heli pilot, the pilot, the pilot or the sniper is going directly towards him or is going at great speeds, at high speeds. But with this weapon, 
if the person is just hovering above you, you can take them out easily. And sorry for the for being uh, AFK over here. I just had to go get a glass of water, and I was pretty really thirsty because it was early in the morning. And yeah. So my recommended maps for this weapon to use is Omen, Dalian, and Dragon Valley. Karkin is also useful to use because it does have vehicles, and Mashtur is pretty good as well. But you want to use the more open maps because. This is more of a defensive defensive weapon and you want to stay in, in your spot in, in a certain area of the map to to mainly protect that area or assault the other flags from this that area. And if you're using the desert ballistic scope as I am right now, you have that increased zoom and if you, you have a good computer where you're running high graphics or medium, you can also extend the the length where you can see of the whole map, which is something pretty good. Like I said previously, you do not want to use this weapon um, up close to the enemy because both the times I used this weapon in this gameplay, I failed. And there are some moments where you can get the, the kill, um, especially what I like to do personally is a bit trolling, but I like to engage the enemy with my pistol, get a few shots on him, probably around three or four, and then they'll bring him down to... Um, um, bit of damage and as soon as I switch weapons I just fire it away with a no scope and most of the times it hits him and I just like it because it, it gives a nice kill but sometimes you'll be l lucky no scoping this weapon but it's not the greatest thing to do either because as it takes so much time to to cock the bullet back you will waste some time and you will most likely die um, one thing I want to mention the reload speed uh, it's not that high so you got to watch out for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this 24 and 6. Not my greatest gameplay but I did enjoy recording this round and commentating over it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be doing the MP7 next and yeah, peace guys.